Now let's go back to the vertical topic. Let's go back to where we were. Okay? So here we have 2 to the power of n. Here we have n to the power of 2. Which is bigger? 2 to the power of n. Because the power is bigger when we are talking about 2 to the power of n. And we can decide, you know, we can go to the other elements. The intercluster distances, this is the O of n times d. But what matters the most is the overall complexity. And the overall complexity is the conjunction of everything. So it is O to of 2 to the power of n times O of d times n to the power of 2 times O n times d, blah, blah, blah. That's it. <laughs> okay? So when we quantify algorithms, all we need to do is to look what is the bottleneck, what is the most complex phase, what is the most complex step, and this is the step that determines the speed, and this is the step that um, determines the complexity of the problem. So that was complexity. Now let's discuss computability. Okay, if this is the complexity, here is the number of operations needed for different sizes of data sets. So if we have a uh, 10 patients, we need to do 1,024 uh, operations. If we have 50 patients, this is the number of operations that we need to do, just in order to examine all the different combination of uh, dividing all the, the patients into clusters. And as I told you also in the introduction, this is something that is impossible to do. It's just impossible. Let me go back again. When I say impossible, it means one thing. That when you go to a statistical suite, a program, and you have a very nice button that say clustering, cluster, and you'll see many programs like that. Each time that you press this button, you should know that there's no way to solve that question. This question is not computable. So you can think that you press the button and get the result. No. You press the button and you get just an estimation, approximation. There is no way in the world that we can calculate all the different combinations in clustering. All the algorithms in the world do just approximation. So you should have doubts whenever you press that button that maybe the result that you received, the information that you derived from the data, is wrong. And there's another combination that the computer skipped, that the computer didn't compute, that is the right one. Just this notion. Because in reality, of course, we cannot test all the different combinations we need algorithms that do all this kind of approximation. And the first algorithm that we will see is an algorithm called k-means. <laughs>